Hey everybody, welcome back. This is going to be a pretty long video on this new car that I just obtained. But please, please watch the entire thing. You will not be disappointed. This is a very special one. Parts of it will bring you to tears and you will be blown away at its content. So enjoy. So I'm in um, New Stanton, Pennsylvania right now. And some of you may be familiar with Backyard Barn Finds. Uh, Parker from Backyard Barn Finds did a video on this car. And this is an original 69 Camaro Z28 Le Mans Blue with black stripes on a black vinyl top. And I just purchased this car and it is an original owner car. And I am buying the car from the original owner who ordered this car with his dad when he was 19 years old. And again, I'm gonna put Parker's uh, video in my comments so you can watch it because he did a real extensive kind of video on this car. And I'm very excited to be able to restore this car. Again, original owner, Le Mans Blue, black stripes, black vinyl top, Rally Sport Z. It's got the original, got the original engine, original tranny, original rear end. And he has a whole bunch of NOS parts for this car. And the car has been acid dipped. It's relatively rust free. And I will definitely be doing a set of uh, videos on this. Disregard the, uh, the exhaust right there. It's to a fourth gen Camaro. But anyway, I'll definitely be doing a set of videos on this car uh, as soon as I get it back to California and start, you know, sifting through all the parts and everything. So it may be a couple of months down the road, but, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. So. so here's the other side of the car here, as you can see. Keep talking, Jack. You're fine. I edit these. No, no, you're fine. So I got, you know, there are the original doors, the original fenders, original wheels are over here. All the YH wheels are right there. And there are a lot of parts that aren't shown here in this, in this video. But again, um, if you watch Parker's video, and thank you, Parker, because this is how I contacted the guy I watched your video and called him and lo and behold here I am so um, anyway I'm gonna put Parker's link down in the comments so you can watch his video and by the way this car is so fully documented it's not even I mean I've never seen such a documented car he's got the original sales receipt the order form he ordered it when he was 19 um, he's got the original letters from GM thanking him for the purchase. He's got the protecto plate. He's got um, everything. I mean, it's like he's got a binder that's two or three inches thick, which I'll show in a future video of all of the paperwork and, and everything. He's got the original window sticker. He's got every single part on this car is the original part and i'm talking alternator water pump fuel pump uh horns uh literally every single part of this car is original to the car so um this is going to be a special one and by the way here is the rally sport hole right there So as shown on the screen there, it is now October of 2024, and I'm here at on my second visit to load the car up into my brand new trailer that I just bought, and uh, so it's ready to send to California. Now following this is um, a couple of pictures of the 
of an example of what this car will look like when it's fully restored and it will be beautiful it's Le Mans blue black stripes black vinyl top with an Endura front bumper and so on so also following the pictures of the car uh, is a very very special uh, part of the video that are uh, stories that Jack the original owner has of the car from day one and I'm telling you it's well worth listening to what he has to say uh, it'll bring tears to your eyes it is so so special so enjoy and my dad said my dad had a bad feeling about being in 20 years because his brother hung around with the owner of the Chevrolet dealership here in Mount Pleasant. And dad worked with a guy in U.S. Steel by the name of Carol Betts. And I graduated with Carol Betts in 1968. Carol was working with my dad. He was putting headers on his Z28. He was changing and putting four tens or four eighty eight gears in it. And then this, he's having engine problems. He's having car problems. And he's taking it back to the dealership. And Curly says, what's this silver Z28 doing back in here? Oh, we got to do this and that. Uh, so then my Uncle Herbert was talking with Billy Schaefer on the Chevrolet dealership. He said, those, those cars are bad news. So, to make a long story short, when it came time, when I went down to East Liberty in Pittsburgh with Don Allen to order money. So we sit down and we got the order form all filled out and the salesman says, we can go, I gotta go to my general manager and get the deal okay. So he walks away and he comes back, he says, you know, I don't like these Z28s. He said, they're problem cars. Your dad said that? He said, they're problem cars. He says, I don't like them. He says, he says, I will sign, he says, for the biggest engine you can get in one of these 69 Camaros, like the Z28s. He says, okay, Dad. So the salesman comes back and he says, we can live with the deal. Dad looks at me. There you are, guys. Thank you, miss. Dad, Dad looks at me and he's got this. He says, is this what you really want? I said, yes, Dad. Put the John Hancock on the order for me. He put the John Hancock on the order for me. But it didn't get to a point where you said, well, you know, what's the price of a young guy? No, because I would have had to go. I, I didn't go down to. to spend more money. Well, off, no. Oh, no. No. The Yankos were a hell of a lot less. I know a guy in Mount Pleasant bought one. My car sticker for $42.67. Window sticker. I paid thirty-seven twenty-seven for my car, and I know the numbers off by heart, like I, I like I know my social security number and my, and my phone number. So there was a guy in Mount Pleasant here. He bought a Fathom Green Yanko, and he bought it directly from Yanko. And my brother was working. No, my brother was going to school. And Paul Bash, B A S H, bought the Valley Green Yanko. His brother, Charlie Bash, was going to school with my brother, Jim. They were the same age. So, Charlie says to my brother, Jim, my brother, bought, my brother has a Yanko Camaro. And Jim says to him, so Charlie, my brother has a Z28 Camaro, and they were talking back and forth, okay? So... And what year would that have been? 1969. And I found out later on, and I did talk with Paul Bash in 09 when they brought the new Camaros back, because I, uh, it was over in Greensburg, where they, where they had the... Uh, the kickoff for the new 2009 Camaro. 
And uh, Charlie said, Paul said, when he bought his Yanko, he paid thirty. $3,500 for his Yanko. And his Yanko, Michael, I paid thirty-seven twenty-seven for mine. He paid thirty-five hundred and some change for his Yanko. But he didn't get a vinyl roof. He didn't, he didn't get the he didn't get the Endura bumper. He didn't get the Rosewood steering wheel. He didn't get a rally sport. You know what I'm saying? I had $400 saved up for a down payment on my new car. So I wanted to make the down payment on the car as large as possible so I could keep the payments down, the monthly payments. So I, I asked my mom and dad, can I borrow some money from you to put on the car? My mom and dad said, we don't have the money to loan you. You're going to have to see grand, uh, grandpa. So it was my grandpa on my mom's side. He would go down every Sunday and see grandma and grandpa. So I walk in, we walk into grandma and grandpa's house. Grandpa was an old coal miner and he was Polish. He was listening to Polish music on the couch. I walk in and I said, grandpa, hello. Can I ask a favor of you? And he always called me boy. He says, yeah, boy, what do you, what do you want? I says, I ordered a, uh, a new Camaro. I ordered a new car. Uh, yeah, I heard all about it. I says, can I borrow some money from you to put on the down payment? How much do you want? I says, I'd like to borrow $800. Go over there under the corner of the rug and take what you want. I lifted up the corner of the rug. There was paper money laying everywhere. <laughs> I picked up $800. I says, Grandpa, I'll show you. Count it out. Nope, you don't have to count it out. He says, I trust you, boy. <laughs> um, at that time, Grandpa went through the Great Depression and did not believe in banks. Right. And he kept all the money in the house. And... Um, I borrowed the $800, I paid him every penny back, and um, it was about a year later, and I will not forget this, I worked in a factory, and just in a factory, you, you, you work, and then you get laid off, and then you work and you get laid off. Sunday again, we go down, I'm, I'm talking to Grandpa, and Grandpa looks at me and he says, boy, he says, they'll never take the car from you. Meaning, if I got laid off, he would make the payments on the oh, car. God. Mm. Yes, I still remember that to this day. We go in with this order, da da da, order the car, come in. So then. I kept, when it came, when it came close to D-Day, that the car was going to be delivered, I was calling him like the dealer, Jim Black, every other day. And I remember this for a fact. On a Tuesday, I was working right down the road down here at a factory. I called him up, called, I called Don Allen up. They're just, it was on a Tuesday in the after, in the morning or early afternoon. They're just unloading your car right now off of the car carrier. I told a friend of mine, Bob Mills, who I was working with at the time, they're, they're, they're unloading a the car. Let's go down. We, we quit work early, jumped on his Harley Davidson, went down to Dawn Allen. Now, you didn't take your dad with you? No, not, not at this time. <laughs> so we, Bob and I, go down on his Harley Davidson. We look at the car, and the dealership already called my mom and are you done with this piece? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yes, Thank you. Yes. Um, the dealership had already called my mom and my dad and made arrangements with my dad's brother to pick the car up. So we go down and we look at the car, Bob and I, Bob Milts. We look at the car and uh, wow. And they said, uh, we've already called your mom and dad. They're going to bring your uncle out on Saturday. To pick the car up. 
I says, no. I says, we will be down on Saturday, but uh, my uncle, my aunt, my dad's brother won't be down. He, we're, we're, we're going to take the car, you know, uh, on Saturday with a friend of mine, with this guy right here. So they said, okay. So we come back home Saturday morning. Now, I don't know how to drive a horse. So in the Jim Black, the salesman, and you see it on my, on my paperwork, you know, he signed the thank you letter. So we get down and we finished doing the paperwork on the car. I owed him like about $809. $809. I gave him a $400 deposit. Gave him the $809. Mom and dad, they, they get back in their car to go home. Bob and I, the car is sitting back in the service area. Bob and I go through the little walk-in door to go back into the service area to, to drive the car out of the dealership. I started to walk over to the passenger side of the car and Bob walks over to the driver's side, opens up the door. From the doorway, Jim Black crawls over to me, which was about 30 feet away. Jack, aren't you going to drive your new car home? I forgot to tell you, Mr. Black, I don't know how to drive a four-speed. <laughs> he throws his hands up, he says, he bought this car and didn't even, didn't even know how to drive a four-speed. He turned around and walked back into the showroom. He couldn't believe it. Yeah. Well... It's like being thrown in the ocean to learn how to swim. Exactly right. And then I learned to drive my four-speed. I learned to drive my car. It was on hills. And I had people honking horns because I stalled the car. If I didn't yeah. stall it, I'd come out with the back tires on fire, you yeah. know, brought the RPM up too high. But I, uh, I had good times with the car. Really that's good. great. But that's when Bubba said about me, and, and I don't know if I told you about Bob Miltz driving the, when I drive him, he's the one that actually put the very few miles, the first miles on the car. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. great. You, is he still around? Oh yeah, Bob is still around. Yeah. I haven't seen him. I I, I go down, to, you know, I haven't seen him for a while. But yeah, he's still around. But yeah, and he remembers the uh, the story about driving the car. That's great. Out of the sh out of the dealership. Yeah. Yeah. And go to the bathroom. And I think I have the price increases in here. Uh, See, this won't do you any good. The number two Pennsylvania State Inspection sticker. I think that's so cool. It took me 15, 13 years to find that. Uh. Yeah. It took me 13 years to find that. 69 Pennsylvania State Inspection sticker. Well, that's cool. September, Very cool. September 1985. And... Do you have that plate? Your original temp temporary. Uh, I have the original cardboard plate, yes. I have this. I have I have this plate. You had uh, it or you oh, have I it? Oh, I still have it. But uh yeah, I still have it. But my but my, my license plate excuse me, my license plate on my ninety seven SS, you know what it read? And it's been picked up because I left it go. No, on my sixty nine. No, on my 84Z28. That's what it was. My 84Z28. My personal personalized plate on my 84Z was low flyer. L O uh. hyphen F L Y E R. Uh. That was the license plate on my. Uh. And I think I still. And I think I might have it in here. There's my PA dealer plate. Oh, wait a minute. What's that, Pete? A picture of the car. Which one? No, it's that's straight. that's the eighty four. 
that's the that's when I had the white. That's when I had it painted with the convection hood and white stripe. This is the LS6 Chevelle. But is this the car? Yeah, that is the car. Huh. Uh -huh. See, I told you. No rough. No, I could, I could. Wow. These are all these are all the lock cylinders, uh, and the keys, the ignition, the steering. I mean the uh, the uh, the door locks and the trunk. Yep. That's the radiator tag. Mm -hmm. um. There's the title. Original protecto plate. That's the re that's the replacement. That's the original. Uh, nice. This is the original window sticker. The original window sticker. Wow. This was a call. Uh, this is the original original order form. Here's when I paid the car off. Um, Very cool. This, this, the white copy was the bank copy. And you can see that they stamped it with the date that, right. it, was, that it was finished. The green copy was the owner's copy. Uh -huh. This was the uh, sales contract, I think, from... We financed that from General Motors. Here's the pre-delivery sheet and the thank you letter. The thank you letter from Don Allen thanking me that I bought a vehicle from them. Here's one set of the original keys with the knockouts that's still in them huh. from 1969. Temporary owner's car. Look at, look at this, Pete. There's a thank you letter. Oh, wow, that's great. From, from Don Allen. There you go. Uh, this hung from the inside of the rear view mirror. <laughs> Their stock number. This is what your plate came in. Uh, oh, you're temporary. That was, I put, uh, I got, this is from my, my, my specialized plate. Well, when it, the metal plate, and then I kept it, the, this mm. envelope. Uh -huh. And this was my, uh, this was my, this was my original cardboard plate. Huh. It was only on the car for 30 days in 69. Huh. This here, this, I, I told you that I had lost my original, rather I could not find my original protecto plate. So I had to get a, a replacement. And here's what Don Allen filled out for my replacement protecto plates. But then you found the and original. Then my, and then I found my original, yes. I don't even want to touch it, you know.
You see these feet? Oh yeah. The Rosetta rivets for the uh, for the Vintag. It goes under on the on oh. the dash pad. Oh okay, those are the Rosetta ones. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> And the other thing is, this protecto plate is in such perfect condition. You well, know, I, I lost it, you know, and I couldn't find it for something like 50-some years, like, you know, 52 years or something like that. Then as I was going through my mom and dad's paperwork upstairs, that's when I found it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna work this from here. Okay, why don't you pull it pull it out for me now? Oh, wow. The bell the housing. bell housing. Now, it has to be painted orange. It has to be painted well, orange. Well, over sprayed orange. Yeah. Over, yeah. Not the whole thing. Right. There it is. You got a new boot that you just bought, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And those are the... Those I are the, put that on my white stripe car. And those are the original bolts out of the AMT uh, bolt kit uh, that, I, that are for the... Uh, right. That are for... And here's where you, the dates... Right here, right. The yeah, date, the, the, the clocks. Yeah, and yeah. but if you look, one of them might have a two and a dot. Yeah, the yeah. The two and the dot means February the first week. Right. Then the other half is the status of right. the of the bell of any cast iron part, and you yeah. will see this on the transmission also. Right. They have two circles. One yeah. is the date marker, and the other one is a status marker. Right. Did you know them, Ted? what they are if you look on my tranny you'll see and yeah. i think it's on the side it's on the it's on where the um it's on where the side cover is yeah might be where the side cover is parts as parts parts and parts and parts Okay, guys, well, hopefully gonna, we can get everything like in there. Not like this idea. Uh -oh. so you already got wind of that stuff, Pete. Oh yeah, we've already put one box in. Oh, did, how, did it fit pretty good? Yeah. Okay. Fits perfectly. Man, Jack, you've got some beautiful stuff in here. Let me set this over here. Oh, no, that came in the box. Oh, I know, I know. And here's... The...
what are in those boxes. Rally wheel center caps. Wow. NOS. Wow. Four there you go. Perfect. I don't know where the fourth, there's the fourth one. One of them I think was opened up and I was going to show you. Yeah, it's good for me to know what these boxes have because once I get this trailer home, uh -huh. I may not access it for a while. Wow, look at that. And those are GM. Oh yeah, they're in the GM boxes. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know? Do, do you know what? These people, they they want an astronomical number for these things. Oh, I know they do. And I have the center cap. I have the stainless steel. I have the stainless steel trim rings. Right. That go with this, along right. with center with the uh, center caps that are NOS. Right. And then, did you have these restored? I did those myself. Yeah. These are the RS headlight buckets. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't want to undo everything. Okay, but I mean, I can yeah. see them just fine. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. See, that's like I said, Pete, 90, 95, 98% of this stuff has all been restored. Yep, I love and, it. You know, and here's, here's the right. sch schematics for the... Uh, headlights. For the yep. headlights. Right. But it's, but it's, they're, they're all done. Yeah, that's from the assembly manual. Mm -hmm. That's weather stripping. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd have to. I have a story to tell you about these uh, these radiator hoses that I got oh, yeah. from Pace Car Jeff in Florida. The RS tanks that work the headlights. NOS. Yeah, these are the for the rally sport for the right. uh, for the RS headlights that work the windows. There's yep. the there's the GM part number on them when I when I got them. These are NOS rally caps. The center wheel rally caps. Original GM. Rally caps, center caps. Those are the uh, the uh, the RS uh, window mechanisms already been restored. All the bushings and everything that have been restored to. Them. Yep. What I'd like to show you while we got the sun out is I'd like to show you one of these tailpipes. The jaw would drop when you see the chrome on these, these tailpipes. And they hurt your eyes to look at it in the sun. And what's... Oh, that's the shield. Oh, for the carburetor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well you know, I heard that these did not come on the car. I bought it at a flea market to put yeah. on mine. And, yeah. And uh, you can see... That I think that's a good... GM piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's a good thing to have. Yeah, well, it, it goes... It goes bumper. Some stuff. of it. Yeah. Not all of it. Some, uh, we'll say most of it. Yeah. And these bags, I, these are cereal bags. After I empty full cereal, I turn them inside out, uh -huh. and I use them to wrap. Because if you put them in regular paper, the paper will stick to the paint. Right. So they won't stick to this wax paper. Right. Okay. All right. Uh. Oh, there's my brake calipers. Uh, NOS GM head bolts. Fantastic. <laughs> the, 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 the brown baker light ones. Okay, so Jack just informed me that all these... What, what, say it again now, the Jack. American Auto Wire wiring harnesses. The headlight plugs and the taillight plugs are brown, the brown Bakelite as the factory instead of the white ones that American Auto Wire would send without a car being judged. So then all the uh, Bakelite heads were put on these wire harnesses. Off then. of my original wire That's harnesses. That's great. Yes. So all you did was rub it on there and then... So what you do with the evapo rust? 
is you soak these things. And I had a big tray and I soaked them in until all the surface rust came off. Now, once they were like this to preserve them, that ECS uh, Chrysler uh, place, it's in the Midwest, they sell this stuff called, it's, and it's a wax, and I might have it over here. So what you do in order to preserve this stuff, you take a heat gun and you heat this up and you take a, 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 a painter's brush, a one inch painter's brush, and you stir it in here. And then till you get a lot of this wax, and it smells like shoe polish is really mm. what it does. And you take that stuff and after this is heated up, you brush this on and it'll have a gloss finish. But when it dries, it dries just like this. That's great. That's the same stuff I was showing you with the, with the remember on the top oh, yeah. of the tire machine? Oh, uh, there's my hoses. There's my brake hoses. Yeah. GM boxes. That's what we like to see. For an example, I'll just show you one of these door hinges that I had done. I keep everything wrapped up. God bless you, Jack. <laughs> we go through one bag, we go to another one, we go through another one. I, I take, I take no chances with these things. Oh, they're they've been primered with the bolts. They've been primered. These are the, uh, the hint. they need painted blue. Yep. Uh, but those are the, those are the real head, those are the real bolts. And if you swing these hinges, I want to tell you what, Pete. Those aren't the real bolts. Pardon me? Those aren't the correct bolts. How do you know? Well, maybe these aren't because I just might have used these things just to bolt them, them together. together. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But you take a look and see if you feel any play in it. No, I know. I put I put new bushings in my factory. Uh -huh. You know, I, I first got OEM mm -hmm. and they were they were such junk. I know. I shut the door for the first time and, and the spring fell, fell out on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't paint them blue. Uh, oh, here are the original bolts here. Yeah, they might be. Yeah, they got the washer built on. Yeah, yeah. That's what and, they and the head is kind of funky looking. It's, it's, yeah, it recesses in. They're a pilot on them. Yeah. So you see where the These pilot are, bolt is? You see yeah, the pilot the, bolt right there. Yeah. yeah. So now what's in this Kendall can? That is the four series Posi unit. And you have it, you said you had it in oil. It's that's in, a, it's, that's it's in, the 410 one. That's the 410 one and it's encased in oil. So it doesn't, uh, nothing gets surface rusted on it. This, Great. this unit here, this heavy unit here, that's my original 373. And you will see on the flange an E12, meaning May, May 12th. 12th and that's stamped on the flange on my on my three series carrier. Great. And this is definitely something I want to see. What's that, Pete? New dark blue seat backs. That's the uh, seat backs, the plastic ones that uh, go behind the seats. Go behind the seat, yes. And these are NOS? No. Oh, they're not NOS. That, I legends. think, were legendaries, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken. Well, that's fine. They do good work, and it, and they're blue. Yeah, you don't have to paint them. Great. Or dye them. Perfect. And here's one of my original blue seat backs. You can see another one in here. Yeah, is it? <laughs> that's the original. That's the one that came with the car. Then I ended up buying this one. And I painted this, but the only problem I couldn't you duplicate got, was, was the, the yeah. rivet. No, not the color, was the rivet. Take a well, flip it over. Well, this has got a turquoise tint to it. That well, but like that's also blue. 50 years old. Yeah. So, you know, <clears throat> but uh, if you look at the rivet, I had a hard time getting that rivet. I, well, I still don't have the rivet. 
That well, that's all right, because I would reuse this original okay. and then have it. They came blue then. Just like this. Okay. This is the color that it was. So this should be painted with the car then. Uh, well, no. No, no. It it's, gets it's, painted it's like this. It's industrial blue. Yeah, it gets painted but like But you it. said this is for the Endura bumper. Yes. On, onto the jack. For the jack. Oh, on the jack. Yeah, okay. you remember the post? I see. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. The yeah. post didn't okay. have this on. Well, actually, there's a mechanism. <clears throat> yeah, this goes through the, uh, for the, for the mat. I see. Yeah. Yeah. But Great. that is not painted Le Mans blue. Okay. All right. It's, it's more actually, like that. It's, the, it's actually this color here okay. is what it really should be. Okay. More original seat covers. Let me see those people. And the, yeah, the yeah, that was for the, my carpet. I, I I took that from the uh, from the carpet off of. Yeah. I save a lot of stuff. Yeah. I save a lot of stuff. Well, that's why we love you, Jack. <laughs> that I don't is know what's this. in there unless I feel. It. Oh, this is the uh, the the heater core cover. Is it? That goes under the you know goes on the behind the hood. Wall. Yeah. Under the hood. Yeah. That I restored. Okay. So these are original GM NOS emblems. <coughs> Except for maybe this one, but... Very nice. Now, is that the original one, or is yes. that an NOS, or what? That's the original. I sent it to Joyce Burrell in uh, Pennsylvania to have it restored. Wow. And that's all she does. She specializes in rearview mirrors. Uh -oh. And um, this was my original huh. that I sent to her, and, she, and I had it done by her. And I think it might say it on the box. I think it might say it on the box. Everything gets packaged up. Everything gets a double or triple wrapped. You see the arrows for them to stay oh, these upright. look a lot nicer than the ones you got. <laughs> yeah, but these are the rear ones. Uh, yes, True. they are. Yes, they are. <gasps> Look at that. Now that's the way those grooves are supposed to look. <sighs> yep. There's the hardware. And you can see there's the, the port numbers and the dates if you want to go outside in the sunlight. Yep. Beautiful. And this is a front one. Open this one up, Jack. Okay. Right. Is that a, okay? This that's another front, Pete. Oh no, this is this is a rear because this one goes into. Oh, that's the, the rear. Yeah, because this one goes into the this one goes into the shot into the into the rear end plate. Right. I got to put the gum bands back on this one. Yeah, these are the fronts. They're smaller. I don't want to compare it to the one I bought. <clears throat> yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just like the ones I bought. I just didn't get these. See, I bought the hardware, and yeah. I and I uh, I, uh, I I put the hardware. Already yeah. on it when after when I got them and then I put them when I put them back. Right, beautiful. No, you got to pull this up. Oh, this, that's right. This, that's the stem that pulls up. Hmm. 
Now, is this a blue one or a black one? Um, this one, I don't know. I think it might let's be take, black. Let's take let's it take outside. It the side. Okay, let's, we got to take it. Looks black almost. I can't remember if the blue, blue interior blue. car is that blue or well, black. Well, they are blue, and I'll show you where it's blue. I'll show you where it's oh, blue. Oh, on the edges. And in the center. Okay. This is blue. Yeah. This is blue. This is blue. This here is blue. Yeah, but all that's black in there. The rest of it yeah. is black. All right. Yeah, that's beautiful. Take it like this. <clears throat> Let me get my hand out of it. Yeah. Don't have the glass, but that's no. But they're packed. they're. I have them packaged away also. Yeah. Great. Now you do have an NOS bezel, right? I have an NOS instrument cluster. Just the bezel that's not loaded. What do you mean loaded. the bezel? The cluster itself I have, and I'm going to show you it. Okay. The NOS one. Right. The problem with it is, I don't know if I cut it out for a clock, but this one I have, they only made two different type of yeah. instrument clusters. They made one that had Camaro in the center. Right. And then right. they had the one that was open for a clock for gauges. Right. right. My NOS, oh, Pete, there's one of them. There's bugs on you. Oh, um, yeah. Mine that I have, my NOS one, is for like a, well, is like for a fuel gauge or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have a clock in the uh, yeah, cutout. Yeah, okay. Now, I might have cut it out, but when I told, uh, I told, They'll probably go in last, I would imagine. Oh. We have to be careful of this box. Well, the other one's sitting on the frame, your dash cluster, that's just a temporary plastic bag. Oh, okay. I, I just... Okay. Jack handed it to me and I didn't want to yeah. tell him to take it away. So. There's more seat foam. So we got this trailer really packed up. And again, if you guys have noticed my voice is different, it's because I have a bad cold while we're doing all this, and I can barely speak. So, anyway. We're sort of at the home stretch of loading in all of the parts. So we are ready to close shop. Okay. Well, you can always open it up and look in right here until it's gone. Now, I don't know. So there you have it, guys. I tell you, this trip was very special to me. And I want to thank Jack Schumer for his graciousness and his hospitality 
while we were at his house loading the trailer. Like I told him, this will always be his car. So, uh, you know, even though I'm buying the car from him, it will always be his car. And I hope that you guys will watch the series of videos that I will have in the very near future on the restoration of this car. Each step of the process will be videoed. So again, I want to thank Jack and I want to thank my good friend Ted Speaker for helping me during this whole process. And I want to thank you guys for watching the video and supporting my channel. So please like and subscribe. And also I want to thank Parker of Backyard Barn Finds for turning me on to this car in the first place. So please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll get future notifications on this car. So again, look down in the description for Backyard Barn Finds link. And thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video, which I will have very soon, bringing this car back and putting it into the body shop to get the body work and paint done. Thanks again. We'll see you.